What's happening guys? Welcome to another video and this week we're heading back up the river again. We're going camping, not too sure where. We're heading up Swan Reach Way, Neil Doddy Way, but uh, not too sure about some of the camping spots that I want to go to because of the floods, but we will find somewhere. We're going to do a campfire cook up, well a roast, so stick around for that. And the weather is miserable. I've actually got a bit of a cold, uh, so few scared of the dark medicines this afternoon should fix that it's probably COVID I think I've had COVID for the 10th time but uh, we'll get over it and uh, I left the fishing rod at home guys so it looks like I'm going to catch as many fish as what I normally do in all the other videos what else has happened I said it's miserable but there's no wind so the river should still be looking great can't wait to get that fire going what else oh, a bit of an update on the videos I'm probably going to change the videos to just whenever. They'll be out on a Wednesday, but at the moment, since I've changed taxi companies in Murray Bridge because the other company closed down, so since Christmas, I'm now working for Dezzers, and they were short of drivers. They asked me to drive five days a week, so I said I would, and they've looked after me, given me the cab to take home and all that sort of stuff back to Taylor Bend. So it's been uh, uh, good. They're, great company to work for but just getting Mondays uh, sun, Saturdays and Sundays off it makes it bloody hard to get the videos out every Wednesday so just for a little while they could be all over the place that will be a Wednesday so don't get shitty with me if a video doesn't come out on a Wednesday I don't think it's gonna affect too many people so uh, and I'd rather have enough time to put a hopefully a decent video together than just slapping one together so I can say oh yeah I'll put one out on every Wednesday so that's the plan and there's stuff I've got to do at home that I'm just letting go like the tinny my tinny boat I'm trying to get that all done I just I'm just not getting enough time and we've had speedway I know that interrupts things but that's a thing my son and me do and we bloody love it so uh, I think he's only got two more speedway meetings left for the season so uh, it has been hard getting the video out every Wednesday, but hopefully by the start of summer, I might go back to just working four days a week. So that way I can get the Monday off. And that gives me time if I've got family shows and things on on the Saturday. It still gives me enough time to shoot out and make a video. So that's the plan. Hopefully it doesn't disappoint too many people, but uh, I've sort of got to do what I've got to do. Long term plan, hopefully three or four years time, I can retire and I want to start putting out two videos every week and do a lot more travelling. So uh, that's my long term view, or my long term plans. So uh, for now though, we'll uh, just have to do what I can do. I still love making the videos and I love the editing and all that part of it. So uh, I'm a little bit disappointed I can't do one each week. But uh, we'll see what happens. And uh, that's enough of me, I think, rambling on. We'll either catch you next week or the week after for, the, for that next video. But for now, we better turn the camera around, show you guys what I'm looking at. And you know what that means? It's time to start the music. And I think I just nearly ran off the road then. coming into Bow Hill thought we'll just have a look at the first few shacks and see how they're going since last time we were here got a lot of ducks here around the corner so gradually getting the place tidied up a bit still see a lot of the rubbish they've chucked out that all got flooded and you should be able to see on some of those sheds how high the water got up to. Still a lot of a mess out here on the road, but uh, looks like they're gradually getting the shacks tidied up a bit. Not just 
just do a U-turn here so you can see how high the water was on that shed. Sorry for the dirty windscreen. I'll wash it one of these days before a video. So that gives you some idea of how high the water was. Probably about a metre, just over a metre higher than this road. So last time we were at Bow Hill I had the kayak out and I dredged down through here through all the mud to get it to the boat ramp. So all tidied up now. Looking a million dollars. So here we are at Greenway's Landing, just upstream from Nil Dotty. Last time we were here this was all covered in water down the bottom and the road was blocked. So I'll try and put a comparison photo up for you. And you can go camping all along the left there. So I'm not too sure how hard the ground is. But we'll go and have a look. It is an option. We might camp down there. But uh, we'll go down and check the shacks and see what sort of mess they're in as well. So someone's put their houseboat up here during the flood and forgot to take it back down. Still living there. There's a bit of a campfire at the back. Houseboats, hey? Pontoons don't look too good. So, a lot of mess here. Have a look how high the water got up to on these shacks. That's about three metres up to there. That's crazy. A lot of mess. Well, it's a good camping spot, so we'll see what happens. I still want to go to Swan Reach and check out Mark's Landing. We haven't been down there since the water's gone back down. So we'll go and check out Swan Reach. We could be back here. We'll see what happens. I love a good windmill. Okay guys, just coming into Swan Reach. Looks like the caravan park's closed there straight ahead. I think I read that somewhere. Half of it got washed away. We'll go out to Mark's Landing or Mark's Point and check on a few of the shacks. So gradually tidying up the mess, you can see on those shacks how it was up at least 3 metres. Washed the windows out of that one. A lot of these older ones aren't looking too good. So this is the shack where we always used to check the water levels. How crazy is that? I thought the water was up high when it was just starting to hit the cement underneath the veranda. Look how high that got. Three metres, three and a half metres up from the ground.
I can't get away from you guys. How are you going, alright? Not too bad, yourself. we just stop for lunch? Yeah. yeah. I don't know. I don't know yet. I'm thinking that place up here, that one you went to that was blocked off, you know. Oh, yeah, yeah. By the pipeline. So good to catch up with Sonia and Phil. There are a couple of subscribers to the channel and do a lot of camping up along the river. So just coming up to the ferry. I think this was one of the last ferries to reopen. Last time I was here it was still shut. You got the pub on the hill to the right. Okay guys, you know what to do, wave to the ferry driver. Yeah, he's got the old two and a half finger wave. Now as you know, all the ferries have a bird name. This one's called the Cockatoo. So you know I'm a bit of a bird follower, so just off the top of my head, the old uh, cockatoo, it's one of 21 species of the old uh, parrot species, and normally known as the cockatoo da dada, um, so hope that, hopefully that helps you guys a little bit. And uh, there's a lot of corellas across the other side of the river flowing around, flying around, and they are one of the 21 species of parrot. I bloody hope so because I just made that bit up. Nice and smooth. The arms look good heights. Coming in beautifully. A little bit of a raise there. Oh, then back down. A little bit of hesitation but pretty good. Hooked up straight off. I don't know if the camera's going to pick him up or not. Probably not. Yep, the old two and a half finger wave. Excellent job. He didn't get too excited. Looks like he's been doing it for years. 9.4. That's my review. So to get to this camping spot, about 8 k's up from Swan Reach and you'll see a pipeline out to the left and to the right. Just turn right at the pipeline. The road's called Murray Lands Road, that was the bitumen one which comes up on the Adelaide side of the river from Swan Reach. As soon as you get to the pipeline, turn right and this will take you down to the river. A few drops of rain around, but that doesn't bother me. No wind is how I like it. Look at that river, beautiful. Hopefully there's some room down here to camp. I'm guessing with this sort of weather and that, there won't be too many people down here. It's a bit of a boat ramp, but it's pretty rough. You'd need a four-wheel drive to use it. So, we'll just sit down. Have a look, we can camp straight ahead if we want to. That's where we camped last time. But we'll just have a look at the track back behind us. Okay guys, so this is the spot, we've moved down back behind this van, camp there, there's usually room up along the back there but they've parked right in the middle, so you can't get cars up there, but this will do us, got a little fire going, Try and get some coal so hopefully I can get this 
cook up going before it gets dark daylight savings makes it a bit with that gone makes it a bit hard so we'll sit down here have a glass of scared of the dark medicine and uh, just watch life cruise by what a beautiful day as long as that rain stays away Okay guys, we got the chicken in, just chuck the spuds in, put a bit of this on here, give a bit of, bit of moisture, get the lid back on it, should be right in a couple of hours. Righto guys, we better check and see how this chook's going. Oh, it's not too bad. Hang on. It's coming along all right. I've got a bit of seasoning here. I actually think it's for fish. <laughs> but we'll chuck a little bit on there and see what it does. Should make it look a bit better anyway. Whoops. Gee, I don't know. That looks like flour. Oh, we'll, we'll chuck a bit on there. Or was that the talcum powder? I'm not sure. It'll do. Get a bit of oil on there. Was that shit? I thought that was the fly spray for a minute. All looking good. Righto, guys. We got the uh, the old chooks nearly ready. We got the gravy going. My old favourite, black and gold cheap stuff keep stirring it remember the trick put it in cold get up there and give it a stir now we got some greens there see that some green beans I'm a little bit concerned about whatever happened to the baby carrots remember you used to be able to buy baby carrots maybe you still can them might just be tail and bend IGA where they don't do them maybe there was a new rule where you can't eat infant carrots anymore I'm not too sure but let me know in the comments if you know where you can buy baby carrots in a can righto guys I think we've nailed it looking pretty good those spuds Nice and soft in the middle. Time to plate up. Righto guys, all plated up. Looking a million dollars. Back for a food review in a minute. Righto guys, food review. Chicken cooked perfectly. Potatoes. Beautiful. Soft in the centre. Soft on the outside, but that's how you get them in a camp oven. Bit hard to get them to go crispy. The green beans, fantastic. I think I'm turning into a, a lover of the greens, guys. So the beans were good. Gravy was sensational for the cheap shit that I get. Overall, 9.1. That's my review. The old cooking the chook in the camp oven easiest cook up you can do cheap easy simple and tastes bloody good too 
so uh, I'll catch you guys later I'm, I think you'll catch me later we'll see what happens it's uh, I've had a couple of scared of the darks so probably sit around the fire for a while and see what happens I might see you guys in the morning or later tonight if not we'll catch you on the next video whenever that is catch you later